Hi, Dr. Dan Purser here. It's, uh, it's July 2018. You can probably tell from the background where I'm at. I had to come down here to, to Orlando to speak at a conference about MTHFR. I've been working with a, a new, um, about to become a new resident, just graduated from medical school, Dr. Jonathan Baxter. And he and I have been throwing ideas back and forth on MTHFR. And one of the things we figured out, and it's in the literature, in the research, MTHFR causes or has been associated with NASH or, or NFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or non-alcoholic dietetic hepatitis. Sorry, I probably said that wrong. But NASH or NFLD is caused by, or they think it's caused by MTHFR. Isn't that interesting? If you properly deal with the issues of MTHFR, you may be able to, I don't know this yet, reverse NASH or NFLD or help that form of liver disease. Saw a patient earlier this week that had a liver transplant and just was extremely exhausted a couple of years later. And I'm pretty sure it's because he has bad MTHFR and horrible vitamin deficiencies that they never really address ever. No one ever has with the guy. So if you have NASH or you have NFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, you got to figure out if you have MTHFR and what form of it and probably get that properly treated. Just another idea, another point. Uh, so those people out there with liver disease, it's caused by a non-alcoholic steatotic uh, hepatitis. I'm not going to look that word up. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. That's close. Just kind of bumbled my words. So anyway, NASH and NFLD are pretty much the same thing. I'm sure the liver specialist would differ with me on that. But you got to consider that MTHFR is a causative effect to some of those. Maybe all those cases. We'll learn more as the years go by. This is Dr. Dan Purser. Thanks again. So your fibromyalgia isn't getting better with our copper conform that we've talked to you about, which really helps your copper levels. And that's the idea. We think copper is the cause of fibromyalgia. Whether it is or isn't, you should have normal copper levels. Your metallothionine should function correctly. If they're not, it's because you're missing certain non-alcoholic. That's right. Keep on going. Mm -hmm.